How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and in this video we're going to go over my thoughts on Vegito and Fuzumasu, and just in general my overall thoughts on the two characters and how they've been implemented into the game. The last time I did a video like this with Bardock and Broly, I did it at the end of my marathon, but I wanted to do it earlier this time because one, a lot of people were asking me my thoughts on the characters, and two, I think I already have a strong enough feeling on Fuzumasu and Vegito, to the point where I feel comfortable making a video like this, even with some of the extreme claims I'm going to make. Before we get to some of those bigger claims though, let's go ahead and start small and work up to it. I know Dragon Ball Fighters is a very high base level of equality for these characters, but it's always good to see how the references and personality of these characters cross over into the fighting game world. And of course I'm very happy to say that with Vegito Blue and Fuzumasu, the trend of treating these characters with real respect to their origins still carries over to this day. Vegito Blue and Fuzumasu are excellent examples of how you can convey a character's personality through nothing more than a couple of gestures, standing poses, and animations. The voice acting work on these characters is also incredibly good, and their dramatic finishes are some of the best in the game. Vegito Blue's dramatic finish is a little bit more on the character building side than the action side, but it's completely made up for by the fact that Trunks gets one of the best action-packed dramatic finishes in the entire game. Really excellent stuff in terms of visuals. Before we get too far away from the visuals, I do just want to expand a little bit upon what I said about demonstrating their personality through their animations. Now I am not an animator nor am I a talented artist, so I don't want to go too far into detail on this as it's very possible that what I'm saying is completely off. But there is a lot of information you can get just from their idle animations. You can clearly tell that Vegito is ready to fight, very energetic, rocking back and forth. And I really love what they did with Fusamasu here by making him stand up and slightly hover above the ground. Uh, one, it, it leads into his flight capabilities, but more than that, it, it constantly has him looking down on whoever he's up against. You'll see here, even with a character like Tien, uh, Zamasu is still looking down on him, uh, which is a very good way to personify Zamasu's thoughts on, you know, mortal beings and anything lesser than the gods. With just an idle animation, you can clearly get that this character thinks he is a lot holier than everybody else and should be revered and praised as so. Oh, and just another thing, I really like the animations for key charging up both of these characters. It's not a big thing, but man, do these look fantastic. I just gotta give it up. Okay, back to the video. And now with the visuals out of the way for these characters, we can talk about the gameplay of each of them, which in my opinion is probably the biggest aspect that's going to make or break these characters for some people out there. And I have to say, although very different from a lot of other Dragon Ball Fighters characters, both of them bring something to the table that's unique and fun in their own special way. Vegeta, although a very much rushdown oriented character, handles it in a very different way from most and builds a lot of meter. This results in really flashy combos where you're flying all over the place, kicking your opponent with your hands crossed, and then tossing them into the corner for mix-ups. And really, there's no other way to describe it than just really bombastic fun. I mean, just look at this level 1. Is anybody capable of hitting this and not saying, uh, uh, and while he slams them down, I mean, come on, I can't be the only one. No, but seriously, the animation is just insane. The second part where he like punches through him, man, that it's just playing Vegito just feels good. Zamasu, on the other hand, is fun in a very different way. Your combos are gonna be more methodical, trying to take advantage of this flight mechanic that is unique to him, as well as how his other mechanics link into it. After hitting certain moves, you could go into fly mode and do them again. You have a special that operates almost like the Hell Zone grenade, which allows you to move around with it makes for very fun mix-up scenarios. And to top it all off, Zamasu just sounds satisfying. Where Vegito feels fun to play, Zamasu sounds fun to play. I know that sounds stupid, but just listen to this. This is what a normal hit sound effect sounds like, and then you're like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. Then Zamasu comes in, it's just... Every combo with Zamasu just sounds like music to the ears. It's so satisfying. And it's the things that make these characters different from so many others in the cast that makes me comfortable with saying that Fuzumasu and Vegito Blue were handled in a way that makes me hopeful for the future of Dragon Ball Fighters. One of the biggest complaints has always been that the characters feel a little bit too similar, and my response to that has always been, well, it is Dragon Ball, a lot of characters have beams, they all act with projectiles, and it's a very hard balancing act when you're trying to balance the respect for an IP and also the respect for a fighting game audience. But with these two characters, I didn't get the feeling that, oh, they're just being unique to address these claims of too similar. I got the feeling that they wanted to keep it in the feel of Dragon Ball Fighters and the feel of Dragon Ball, but also explore some new options with these characters, and I think it paid off extremely well. And it just has me so hopeful for the rest of the characters to turn out like this because they'll stay in tune with the Dragon Ball franchise 
but also they'll be opened up in different ways that make them more creative, more freeform, and I think that's something to really look forward to. But with that said, I acknowledge that this is completely all just my opinion, so please leave me yours in the comment section down below, whether it's positive or negative about these characters. Whatever you, whatever your honest feelings toward the character are, it's best if you get them out now, whether it be in this comment section or somewhere, just so at the end of the day you can say, yeah, my opinion's out there, and hopefully somebody from this company is seeing it, and it's affecting the future of the game in some way, shape, or form. Probably isn't because they're a Japanese developer, and most of us are speaking English or, or Spanish, but yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit rough there. While you're down in the comments though, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this from this channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.